Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the watchOS 10 Public Beta 2. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time and talk about the Beta 2 and the Beta 4 re-release of watchOS 10. What's new in this update and is it worth installing this update on your watch or not? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. The watch I'm using is Apple Watch SE. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos and you guys seem to love them make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so that you never miss out on my future videos all right so it's been few hours that i have been using the watch os 10 beta 2 slash beta 4 re-release because both have the same build number if you are following me i already talked about this in my previous video that apple will have a different build for the beta 2 because a lot of people and other youtubers said that the beta 4 build will be the same for for the public beta 2 but i said that the public beta 2 will be an improved version of beta 4 because beta 4 is having some issues which should be resolved in the public beta that's what happened we have the re-release version of beta 4 and public beta 2 is here with a different build number and the re-release of beta 4 is also here to match the public beta build if you have already watched the previous video of beta 4 the features and changes are the same here there is no new features or changes as such on the public beta 2 let me refresh you a little bit and talk about what all new things are here and what all things are improved on this update number one thing which is new is the control center the control center was lagging on the watch earlier when you used to wake your watch up and just straight up go in the control center or just trigger something in the control center it was getting laggy and the animations were having a bit of a lag and some sort of delay which is now resolved on the public beta 2 then talking about the performance the performance is about the same as the public beta 1 the performance was not an issue since the beta 3 the developer beta 3 was really good in terms of performance and that means the first beta and the second beta the public betas did not had any issue with the performance as such which the people using developer betas had i had a lot of issues on my watch regarding to performance it was having a lot of lag and till now the system ui is just not refined enough and i do see a lot of lag in the animations because there are new animations in the watch os 10 watch os 10 is of course one of the most changed os this year so this will take some time in order to get just settled up and refined but i am really sure that in the future betas we will have better refined version of watch os 10 till now the watch os 10 seems to be pretty amazing and not to forget this our favorite watch face it just never gets old it supports some new changes as well there is a disco mode of this cute doggy and there is a lot of new things that he does now the doggy watch face is one of my favorite yes i call it the doggy watch face i just love to call it that and it is just really really cute we all love it, it supports some of the new dance moves and some of the new changes in the doggy watch face talking about other things in the watch face is the watch face which has nike on it is also a bit changed the nike watch face font is a little bit different if you compare it side by side the nike watch face on the public beta 2 is a little bit more spacious and the space between the numbers is a just a tiny bit more compared to the beta one this is something which is a really small update in the nike watch face but yes it is noticeable then talking about the weather app the weather app on apple watch is also improved the weather app now shows more details related to weather and the weather app also supports more weather yes by that i mean more weather animations thunderstorms snow and a lot more on the watch os 10 beta 2 let me know down in comments below what is your favorite app of watch os 10 because my favorite is gotta be the weather app the weather app shows a lot of new things and 
The UI of Weather app is just really, really pleasing. I am using Weather app on my watch way often that I ever used since I bought my watch. The Weather app is amazing and it is getting better with every beta. There is not a lot to talk about in the public beta too. Yes, it is much stable and a lot better compared to the developer betas. I'm loving the watch OS 10 beta too and there aren't anything majorly new here or any new feature to talk about it is just a bug fix and stability fix update on the watch os 10 here which of course we all love the low power mode also has more information in it when you enable the low power mode the low power mode shows more details about the what it does it turns off some sensors and all what all it does it has more brief detail about low power mode that is it what is new in the beta 2 thank you so much for watching this video till the end i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out and have a great day everyone